Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? Today we are just starting fresh because yesterday was very much a Monday for me. Um, my littlest one was up at all hours of the night and so that kept me up and then I slept through my alarm and almost made my oldest late for school. So that was the start of my day and I'm hoping that it's gonna get better. Can you hear my little one complaining already? What is it? Who is that? Baby. Yeah, is that a baby? Or is that Paisley? Daddy. Do you see yourself? Self. Yeah, you're so cute. Ah. <laughs> so we are just doing our thing here at home today. Um, it's pretty cool outside. It's icy and snowy as usual. And so we're just cozied up indoors. And I'm hoping to tackle a few projects today that I'll take you along for the ride. And yeah, just doing the typical mom life rhythm. And uh, thanks for being here today and uh, yeah, stick around. So the other day I picked up a few of these. Have you guys heard of these before? They're so good. They're called Sumo Oranges. And they're basically like a hybrid between like a navel orange and a mandarin orange. And they only come out like once a year and apparently they're really expensive to grow. But um, yeah, so I probably paid like I don't know what it was, five sixty-five dollars per pound. So I only got like three of these things, but they are so good. Like if I was rich, I'd be living on these things. Although they don't come out for very long, but they are so amazing. They're like a gigantic, juicy mandarin orange. Here's the aftermath of mine. I only saved you guys a piece because it is just so dang good. Then there's this one who is destroying my house right now. What are you up to? Hmm? What happened to that little banana cookie I gave you? Not good. What happened? I see some evidence right here. Cheese. What's this? All over Cheese. my furniture. Cheese. Are you posing for the picture? <laughs> Every time I turn the camera on. Cheese. 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 Mm-hmm. Here's my brilliant four-year-old who requested to do some activity worksheets today. Are you having fun? Mm-hmm. Yeah? She is proving to be way more advanced than I realized. I kind of thought she didn't know some of these things, but she's really proving me wrong. And these things I just found online. I just Googled pre-K activity sheets. And uh, yeah, found some fun ones for her to do. She's just working away this afternoon on that. I just went to the mailbox and I got a Zara order, which is always exciting. And I love shopping there for my kids. So I thought maybe I would unbox it with you and just show you some of the things that I recently got. A lot of the stuff that I scored was either on sale or just, it's kind of a mishmash of things that I needed for my girls. My oldest is pretty picky about what she wears. And so, uh, yeah, these are just some of the things that I put together in my order. Okay, so we've got a little skirt here. Yeah, so I ordered size four or five for my six year old because she has a very teeny tiny waist. And so I just thought that was so cute. So hopefully that fits her. I'll get her to try it on when she comes home. And then you guys are gonna think I'm nuts, but I ordered another one for my middle girl. These do look pretty small. This is a size two, three and my daughter's four, but once again, teeny tiny waist. So I thought I'd get another one to match. And of course, because I have three daughters, I got another little teeny tiny one. So hopefully they fit. These were all on sale. They were like, I think they were 40% off or something like that. So I just thought now's the time I can grab little matching skirts. They could wear them from Easter or maybe Valentine's Day or something. I don't know. I just thought they were so cute. Okay, next thing. This is from my oldest. Cozy blue sweatshirt. Basic. Good for school. You know the drill. Okay. Um, and another shirt for my oldest. That's pretty cute. It's 
definitely a little shorter than I thought it would be, which is kind of a bummer, but um, I don't know. I guess the cropped look is in or something. It's cute though. Hopefully she'll wear it. I'm kind of disappointed that it's so short, but they didn't really say that on the website. Let's see what else did I order? Oh, and I got her, oh yeah, okay. I got her some tights. So she'll use those under skirts and stuff. And then this is the kicker. So I bought this because as soon as I saw it online, I was obsessed immediately. Now, whether she wears this is the other question, but I have two more daughters that will hopefully wear it. So even if Hadley doesn't wear it, I just thought, look at how cute this is. Like if I could get one of these in my size, I would. Look at the little patch on the skirt. Like, come on, that's so cute. So we'll see. Hopefully she wears it. She's pretty particular, like I said, about textures. She's just one of those kids that, you know, a tag will drive her nuts. Or if the fabric is too scratchy or too stiff, she won't wear it. So that's what I have to deal with. Okay, for my other girl, my middle girl, just some basic t-shirts. See, this looks a lot bigger. Like this looks like something that could fit my oldest, even though it's size four or five. So we'll see, maybe I'll be doing a little bit of switching around here. What else did I get? I don't even remember. This is in a special bag for some reason. Bunting flag. Oh, it's tiny. It's a lot tinier than I thought, but I'm thinking of hanging this up maybe in the playroom that I'm redecorating, so. Look how tiny these flags are. These are a lot smaller than I thought they'd be. But I guess that's what you get when you pay 20 bucks for one. It's funny how sometimes you forget what you've actually ordered. Oh, oh, okay. So this is a two pack of shirts. Once again, from my middle girl, but these look huge. Okay, this is four or five, but easily could fit. Um, Probably my oldest, so we'll see what I do with these. Basic top. This is size 18 to 24 months. I just thought these were really cute. Like, look at the little knee patches, and they're so soft, like really cozy. So yeah, she'll be getting lots of use out of those. And then the last thing I ordered was a very cute pair of overalls i am overall overall i'm overall obsessed <laughs> um yeah i just love putting my kids in overalls they're so cute they're so easy it's fun to dress girls but it's also a lot on the wallet because girl stuff requires a lot of accessories and there's lots of little pieces and so sometimes i just like keeping it simple and dressing them in like a cute top and overalls and then they're comfy and cozy for the day and it's just practical and it's a nice outfit. So there's my Zara order for you guys. <laughs> Yum. Yum. Are you feeding your babies? Yeah. Nice. Yum. Yum. No, these are my babies. Oh, Mom. she can't feed your babies? Mm-mm. Oh, Peyton. Where's I'm your babies, it. Pacey? Where are they? Mm -mm. Baby. Maybe you can help her find a baby. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling a little bit of the crunch right now because this room is going to become whose room, Peyton? Um, Hadley's. Hadley's. And so we just got our mattress today and I feel antsy now to really get this room cleared out and ready for its new location, which I will show you guys. So we live in a basement entry home and basically we have three bedrooms upstairs and all of us are up there right now and it's gonna get tight with our next little baby. So our oldest is currently bunking in the same room as our middle girl, but now we're gonna shift basically the youngest into the bunk bedroom with the middle girl. And then our oldest is going to have her own room which is currently where the playroom was that I was just showing you. So I'll show you guys what the new playroom looks like. We just finished painting and sort of um, baseboard and any sort of touch-ups. It was a pretty ugly room before. It was just dated, um, kind of 90s 
yucky, glossy, beigey colored paint. And so we just brightened it up. Um, yeah, it's, it's very basic. We put in some new carpeting. Um, basically just had this really dated, yucky carpet. And now it's just a nice, clean room. Hey guys, I feel like this vlog is all over the place, but you know how those days go where you're just kind of running from one thing to the next. Some days I feel like I just, I'm more organized and I have sort of a schedule or a list of tasks or duties that I need to get done. And then other days I just feel like I'm running around with my head cut off like a chicken and just trying to do as much as I can with the amount of time that I have. And it has been challenging because with Miss Paisley, my youngest, she's just been, um, a terror at night, uh, waking up a ton. And it's really kind of messing up our days too because if she has a, a weird afternoon nap and then ends up staying up late, then the next day she's really cranky and it just sort of compounds. And so I'm kind of in the middle of this sort of nap time battle and it's hard for me because it's like, okay, do I go out and drag them out and break up the day that way? Or do I stay home and try to regulate her nap schedule? and so I've been doing both. I mean, there's just days where I need to get out and get groceries and stuff, but I also feel more inclined to staying home sometimes just to sort of get her back into that regime. So I know you mamas can relate. It's tough. The nap time and scheduling around that can be really difficult for moms sometimes. And I'm kind of a believer that usually I just kind of go with the flow and if they're tired, they'll fall asleep. And if they're awake, they're awake. But uh, being pregnant right now and dealing with a lot of... Uh, sleep interruptions and late nights has really like started to catch up with me and I just find I'm not really myself. Um, I'm a little bit more ornery and a little bit more hormonal and uh, hopefully I'm not taking that out on the older ones as much as I would like to not admit that it's probably happening. So my husband is away this week for work and so that changes our whole routine as well. Um, I'm definitely on my own kind of doing the single parent thing. And if you're a single parent, man, I just give you the world of credit. It is so hard and not easy. And so, yeah, that's, I'm experiencing a teeny tiny morsel of that this week, but it's been good. The kids have been great and uh, we're just carrying on here. So I'm hoping to have another separate video that's gonna show how I did this project, but this is just sort of a preview of what Hadley's bed is going to look like. It's a twin size spindle bed and I got it off of Kijiji and I decided to take it on and give it a little bit of a refinish job. So probably this weekend I'll go and pick up some paints and start painting it out and you know, pick out a fun color for it. And then yeah, then we'll get to assemble it. I'm really excited. I haven't even seen it assembled yet. So it's gonna be fun to sort of see it all come together and have a, a new cool fun color on it and yeah. So that's been my little project in the garage. So I feel kind of embarrassed to say this, but I'm gonna attempt to build a toy storage cabinet from Ikea. Usually I get my husband to do these things, but since he's away and I'm really antsy to get started on this room, I'm just gonna go ahead and try and do it myself. So bear with me because I am not handy with the tools. Oh, Debbie. Hi. I'm 
enough. Mom! Oh. Here lies the problem. You kind of need two people to do this because the holes are not lining up because this is Ikea furniture Mom. for you. And uh, yeah, I'm at a point where my frustration is far outweighing the necessity to get this done. Um, yeah, it's almost like the dowels are not drilled properly in the right spots because this is just one of those cheap pieces of furniture that's mass manufactured. So I'm at a little bit of a standstill right now because the holes are not lining up properly and this means that I'm going to have to sort of fudge around with it for a while longer. Um, yeah, this may be a project I'm going to need my other half for. <laughs> I'll show you a little bit of what we've done so far. It's pretty much a big mess here. So we're starting to move things down. There's my epic fail at building the other storage bin. So, so that's basically what it's gonna look like side by side. And I just find the kids really like using it to set their toys right. and stuff on. And then we've got a few other things set up here. Don't look at but me. That's about it. Yeah, that's about all we got done today. Just moving stuff back and forth. It's a big mess. And so um, we're trying our best to get things organized and switch things out because uh, our oldest Hadley is really antsy to have her room put together. And so, yeah, here we are in the midst of the chaos and the mess. Oh, wish me luck. I'll see you guys next time. Feel free to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more Day in the Life with me and my kiddos. Bye for now. Hi. I'd show you my kids, but they're in their underwear, so. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm having a great day, and I am four years old, and um, I Hi. say go Hi, next week when I'm five, and Daddy. um, I'm done. Um, and Hi. when Paisley can grow up, she can go to school, Daddy. and I have a sister Daddy. named Hadley. She's <laughs> at school right now because she's six, and she lost a, a tooth. Bye. <laughs>